and welcome back to the Looking Stylish YouTube channel. Today I'm coming to you from my newly done shower room and um, I thought I would give you a little bit of a tour of what we've had done but also take this opportunity to show you some of my favourite beauty products that I'm using at the moment. So let's get into the video. Okay, so starting with um, some of the products that I'm using in the shower, and the first one is this one, it's by L'Occitane, and it's their um, shower gel in the fragrance Vervine. This has been one of my favourites for quite a long time, I absolutely love the smell of it. And we now have a L'Occitane store very close to us, so I can get top-ups quite quickly. Um, also, if you do have a store near you, it's worth going in and buying a few products because they are really good with giving out discount codes and little samples and things. So that's the first thing. Then mentioning Jo Malone, I wanted to have a really nice um, hand wash in the bathroom with me. So I went to the Jo Malone counter in Phoenix recently and I had a good sort of smell of all the different sort of fresh fragrances. I like the ones that are fruity and fresh rather than the musky or heavier scents. And um, so I chose the Earl Grey and Cucumber and I've been using that one as my hand wash in the bathroom. It's a little bit of um, an extravagance, but um, I figured we've got a beautiful new bathroom, so why not treat myself to something a little bit nicer? And then moving on to a few more body products, um, because obviously we're having a heat wave at the moment and more skin is coming out, I wanted to mention this one, which is the Vita Liberata um, two to three week tan mousse and I use this say two or three nights in a row to build up a tan and it lasts for up to two weeks uh, it's excellent um, it doesn't really smell too strongly it comes with a pump in a foam kind of um, consistency and I'm using the medium colour the other thing that I really do like about these products is that they are all organic as well. So um, that's my everyday tan. And then also by Vita Liberata, I'm using their body blur. And this one is um, great for giving your skin a lovely finish. It's got no tan in it, it's just a sort of beautifying product. Um, it says it's got an instant HD skin finish and it's got 24 hour wear. It takes a little bit of rubbing in, um, but it really does give your skin a really nice sort of smoothness to it and a lovely sheen. And I've got some brown spots on my arm. Um, I don't know whether you can see them there, but I have used this over them and it does give quite good coverage. You can also use it on your face and um, I've got it on this morning actually underneath the foundation, but I have used it on its own um, just with a couple of other products when I've wanted a really sort of quick makeup day. And the other one which I have definitely mentioned before is the This Works um, Perfect Leg Skin Miracle. And this one um, actually is probably a finer consistency than the body blur. It goes on really easily, but it is quite messy. You do have to wash your hands afterwards. Um, I mean, you do with the other one, but this one is, is a little bit more messy. It's slightly darker, it's got a little bit more of a shimmer to it, so it's great if you've got your legs out um, it, on holiday, you know, in the evening, if you've got a nice dress on and you want to show off your legs, then um, this product I would highly recommend. I really do like it. And again, it's also natural, um, and it's got vitamin C and E in it as well. So that is another big favourite. One product that I was gifted whilst I was in the US at the Reward Star concert, and I don't know yet whether we can get it here. If I can find a link, I will put it in the description box for you, as I will with all the other things that I mention. Um, but it's this, Skin Fix. And there are some Skin Fix products in Boots, so I don't know whether this was just a new one and it hadn't come to the UK yet. Um, but it's a pre-shower body polish and it says it's for crepey rough and bumpy skin. It's got natural ingredients of <clears throat> bamboo and sweet almond and coconut oils. And this, I think, is actually quite incredible. Um, it is quite gritty, 
but I've used it on my elbows and on my heels and um, it, I, I would say it's almost a miracle product. The smell of it isn't great, um, but really I think you can put up with that because you're going to wash it off anyway. So um, if I can find a link for that one, I will do it. Maybe as I say that it was new and it just hasn't come here yet. And then talking about feet, um, I've recently discovered Margaret Dabs. I had read about the Margaret Dabs pedicures and um, I bought a little sort of sample pack which had four products in it. It's got a foot scrub, it's got a foot, foot um, soak and then it's also got a foot oil and a foot lotion. And again, they're, they're only quite small, so I've used a lot of these, but they have been absolutely brilliant as well. I would highly recommend them. Um, so the oil goes on and then you put the foot lotion over the top of it, leave it overnight and lovely soft feet. And then um, the last thing on kind of body is um, the fragrance that I've been wearing. Um, you probably know that we're going to Italy on holiday. I love Italy. I love anything about Italy. Um, so the fragrance that I'm currently wearing is this one by Tom Ford. It's the Mandarino di Amalfi. We're not actually going to Amalfi, but it smells beautiful. It smells of summer holidays um, in Italy. So that's the one that I'm regularly wearing at the moment. Then moving on to face products, and one again which I know I have mentioned is the Colleen Rothschild um, Cleansing Balm. I absolutely love this. I did get another pot when I was in Dallas, and um, you can see I'm nearly at the bottom. There are a few alternatives that you can use that are available in the UK. I know Colleen and Rothschild are trying to get more of a presence into the UK. Last time I spoke to them, um, they said that they were looking at that actively. Um, they did give me a discount code that we can use. Now, if that still works, I will put it in the description box so that if you do want to pick up any of the products that I mentioned from them, um, hopefully you can do it with a discount, which will um, make it a little bit more favorable having something shipped from the US. So that's one product of theirs. Um, the next one is the Beauty Water, and this is quite a new one. Um, and you can use this either just to sort of freshen up during the day, you can also use it to set your makeup. So this one is really great for boosting hydration on the skin, which um, in this sort of hot, humid weather, which is something that we need in this really hot, humid weather, and definitely something that I would take when I'm traveling. One new product that I've just started trying is um, the Declior Micellar Oil. I've used the Garnier Micellar Water for quite a long time and I thought I would give this one a try because it's got an oil in it and that does help to get the um, dirt and makeup off of the skin. Um, it's for all skin types. It's a lovely big bottle, so it's going to last a long time. I mean, I've been using it for about a week now and I've hardly hardly touched it really. Um, so I've kind of got into Declio products a little bit recently. There's several um, that I am trying out and this one is beautiful. It's one of the nicest face cleansers I've used. The toner which I use is this Pixi Glow Tonic. Um, and this is, it's got one of those gentle exfoliators in it, so um, it supposedly gives you a nice glow. And just something which I read recently about retinol, and I have got a couple of retinol products here, is that they can take four weeks to six weeks even before you notice a difference. Um, some of them do claim, you know, you can see a difference within a day, but I think if you're started using one, it is worth persisting with it if you don't notice anything immediate. So I just thought I'd put that in because I, I read an article about um, retinol recently and I thought that was quite interesting because I know I have tried some products and thought, well, I haven't seen this miraculous difference that I was promised. And then moving on to moisturisers, there are three that I'm kind of using um, in rotation at the moment. The first one, when it's very hot like it is today, is the Clinique Moisture Surge. And the reason I like this one is because it's kind of a gel 
and it's quite lightweight so it's not a thick cream that you think on a hot day like it is at the moment um, that the cream can sit on the top of your skin so I really like that one and the fact that it's a moisture surge so if you have got dry parched dehydrated skin then that one is really good I've also been using the Charlotte Tilbury's magic cream um, and one of the reasons I really like this is because it's one of the few of the moisturizers that I've got that does have an SPF in it so um, on days when it's actually not too hot and sunny I will use this one and that will be the SPF for my skin on a day like today, if I'm going to be out and about and it is really hot or when I'm on holiday, I will use a separate SPF and I'll come on to that in a minute. The third moisturiser that I'm using, which is also by Declior, is the Aura Absolu and it's Intense Glow Awakening Cream with Jasmine. I've only just started using this one, but I am really enjoying it. I love the um, consistency of it. The only thing I'm not mad about is the smell, <laughs> which uh, is obviously part of it, it because it has jasmine in it. And I'm not that keen on the smell of jasmine, but other than that, I think for the benefits, it's worth using. And then I mentioned about separate SPF, and again, it's a Declior product, and this is their Aroma Sun Expert. Um, it's got an anti-wrinkle treatment in it as well so obviously we know that the sun does cause damage and wrinkles and um, so this one i'm using hopefully for preventative measures it's got an spf of 50 so um, if you are going anywhere in really bright sunlight or on holiday then i would highly recommend this one then I mentioned earlier about retinol and I have got a few retinol products which I have been trying. Two of them again are from Colleen Rothschild. One of them is the Supreme Night Oil which is gorgeous um, and you hardly need any of it. I've been using that since I got back from Dallas in April and they also gave me their retinol supreme eye serum so I've been using both of those regularly in the evening um, and then I've also alternated them it's the lunar sleeping night oil um, and it has a retinol in it it says it's next generation infused oil reduces the appearance of pores and wrinkles while fighting the signs of aging so again that one I have been using for quite a while and again it's literally a couple of drops it does come out blue but don't let that frighten you because as soon as you spread it onto the skin it does work away into the skin um, and so those are the three retinol products that I'm currently using have I noticed a difference um, yes I think I have I think my my skin is smoother um, I don't think I have too many wrinkles, so um, not bad for almost 55. Um, so yeah, I think they are definitely worth a try. And then two other products that I've been alternating at night. One which is designed to give you um, a treatment as well as a tan is the Charlotte Tilbury Overnight Bronze and Glow Mask, which is this one. So it has a little bit of um, self-tan in it and um, you just pop it on at night, it treats the skin, but it also gives you a little bit of a glow. You do need to use it sort of two or three nights before you actually see a difference. So it is very subtle. If you're worried about waking up with an orange face, um, I promise you, you won't. So that one um, I'm using probably every other week and then using it for sort of two or three nights um, in a row. And the other one that I'm using at night time is the Clinique Moisture Surge. And this one is, um, again, it's an overnight mask. It's designed to treat your skin whilst you sleep. And again, it's got that moisture or that surge of moisture in it, which um, my skin needs. 
So that's it on um, body and skincare. I've got a couple of makeup products which I've been really enjoying at the moment. Starting with the concealer that I've been using, and I think I have mentioned this before, it was part of a free gift from Benefit when I bought one of their mascaras, and it's called Boing. It's an airbrush concealer, and I have really, really liked this. The colour is brilliant on me. Um, my colour is number two, and I have just been literally sort of tapping that on around the eyes and where I've got some broken capillaries on my um, nose, I've been popping that on just with a beauty blender. So really, really like that. The second product, again, was one that I was gifted while I was in Dallas. It's this, it's from It Cosmetics. Um, what I quite like about the um, IT Cosmetics is that they are products that have been developed by plastic surgeons, so they should be good for your skin, or they should give you those effects that perhaps a plastic surgeon can give you. Um, it comes in a really nice package, and um, it's got inside it a bronzer, a blusher and a highlighter and today I'm wearing the blusher and the highlighter so it's a really nice one if you're going on holiday to take with you because you've got three products there in one um, and it does come in I think it's three different colours so um, as with I said with all the other products I will link that one. The next one is a powder that's from Chanel and it's an illuminating powder and it's got a beautiful glow to it so um, you can see I've really had a good go at that, I'm really enjoying it and I have been using that every day. I do like my skin to have a little bit of a sort of shimmery finish to it rather than very matte so um, that's what I'm using this year. Chanel do some great powders, they also do some really good ones in their Le Beige collection um, so it's definitely worth having a look and perhaps even going to their counter and trying a few out. And the other bronzer that I'm regularly using is this one by Charlotte Tilbury. Um, it's her film star Bronze and Glow. And again, this one does have a bronzer and a highlighter in it. So um, it comes again in two colours. This is the lighter of the two colour and there is a much darker one as well. And I tend to use this for contouring. So contouring under the cheekbones, under the chin, um, and then just a little puff of it on my um, nose and face where the sun hits. And finally, three other um, products which I've been using regularly lately. One of them is an eye pencil. Um, I do use a lot of Chanel eye pencils because they're long lasting, but I wanted to mention this one because it is really, really pretty. It's called Black Gold, but don't be put off by the black because it is actually more of a sort of greeny block bronze. Let me see if I can show you what that looks like. So it's not really a black. Um, and it's got a beautiful shimmer to it. So this one I have been using for quite a few years and when it runs out I do replace it. Um, and I don't think I've ever really made much of it before but I really like it. It is a beautiful pencil for day or night. The lipstick that I'm wearing today is another big favourite. It is a Chanel one. You can see I have literally got to the very bottom of that one. Um, and I'm digging it out with a brush now. It is the one I've got on today. It's um, from the Rouge Allure collection and it's called Enigmatic and it's number 135 if you wanted to find that one. But again, I will link it. Um, this one is kind of my great summer lipstick because it's got a little bit of red to it. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it. Um, and it goes with reds and corals and oranges really well. So um, that is one of my favourites, which again, I do replace when it runs out. This is L'Oreal's False Lush Flatter. False, false Lush. False Lash Flatter, if I can say it. Um, and it's got a really nice brush to it. I don't know if you can see that but it's got a shaped brush, so it sort of works on the longer lashes on the outside as well as the shorter ones on the inside. And this one doesn't seem to smudge, so you can always rely on L'Oreal for some great basic products like um, mascara. 
I just wanted to mention two final things and um, they're actually from Marks and Spencers. The first one which I have bought in two different fragrances is their, signat is their signature scent. It's a room and linen mist and the one I've got up here is the grapefruit and ginger and um, it smells beautiful, it's beautifully fresh and you can definitely obviously smell the grapefruit in it but it's great I think for the shower room um, just to freshen up after um, using the shower. So that I bought especially to go in here and then I also bought the candle. So I'll probably light that in the evening when I'm getting ready to go out. Now I've got my fabulous um, mirror and I've got all of my products stored in the bathroom here or in the shower room. Um, I do get ready in here. The only thing I don't do in here is my hair. But other than that, all the beautifying now takes place here and I'm absolutely loving my new shower room. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you like the little behind the scenes tour of our shower room and um, some of my favourite products that I'm using at the moment. So if you did like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. And um, if you're not already subscribed, I'd love you to subscribe to the channel. And if you click on the little bell, it will notify you when I release a new video. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. So, welcome to my new bathroom. And starting with um, just inside the door, cupboards. This top cupboard contains um, things like right on the top there, some body products, and then two shelves of um, skincare products. Open shelves where I've got some of my favourite fragrances and then there is also a cupboard at the bottom. A cupboard at the bottom which contains things like my foot treatments, my um, self tan um, and a couple of other products which I don't use quite so often. And then the worktop here, I've got a candle there, I've got my makeup brushes toothbrush and so on and then over to the sink. There's a little bit of an issue with the sink at the moment because um, the water doesn't flow out of it too quickly so um, the guy who did the bathroom for us who I will link below as well um, is coming back to have another look at that and just to finish a couple of other little bits tomorrow. And then I've got um, a set of four drawers and in those I've got my makeup products. Top drawer is pretty much everything I wear every day so that I'm not rummaging through all my blushes for a, a blusher that I'm using all the time or all of my different foundations for the one I want. So products that I'm using regularly I put into that top drawer. And the third drawer down has um, eyeshadows. And then the last drawer has just got a couple of travel bits and um, my cotton wool pads. Under the sink there's another double cupboard and just in there I've got some makeup products which I don't use quite so often but I don't want to get rid of. I have my um, nail varnish collection which you can see is a little bit obsessive and just a few other um, sort of beauty bits and pieces in there. The floor's been tiled in a sort of soft biscuity colour. Um, the mats that I've got down here at the moment I will probably change. I was thinking about having mats and towels in a kind of terracotta colour that, that would go better with the featured wall which I'll show you in a second. Then the wall tiles are similar in colour but um, a bit plainer, hi! <laughs> and then on the windowsill we have my 
great little toy and this is the remote control for my shower. So you press the button to start it, it flashes and once it stops flashing the shower is up to the temperature that you've set it at. We've then got the towel rail uh, which is a nice tall one. Again, I was think, as I said, I was thinking about the terracotta, so I literally just bought one flannel to see what the colour looked like with it. So let's move into this fantastic shower. And this is my feature wall. I'm going to come a little bit closer because you may not be able to see it, the detail in it that well, but it is beautiful. It's a lovely, rich, warm colour. Um, and I think it was definitely the right thing to do to have that put in. We did discuss having it throughout the shower cubicle, but to be honest, this end wall, which you don't really see that much, for the cost of it, it wasn't really worth it. And I think it works really well as a, as, um, a feature wall. That's the inside control for the shower. And then there's the detachable head, which you can take out and obviously use away from the wall. And then up in here so you can see up the top we've got um, a fixed large shower head which is great because what I tend to do is when I want to wash my hair I'll stand underneath the fixed shower head and um, when I don't want to wash my hair in the morning I'll use the other one and put my hair up out of the way so that's been that's worked really really well um, we've then had as you can see spotlights fitted into the ceiling and um, then I have to mention, hello again, my fantastic mirror. It's huge. Um, and I'm just going to switch on the light so that you can see it in its full glory. So you can do your makeup day or night with daylight. And it's absolutely brilliant. I love it. We had a little bit of fun and games with it. I'm just going to turn that off so that it's not shiny in you, at you. Um, we had a little bit of fun and games with it because when it was wired up, it was on and there didn't appear to be a sensor on it, which I was expecting. What they've done is the electrician came back. He wired sort of up through the ceiling and brought it out to the light switch outside. So that's my new shower room. I hope you like it. I'm absolutely thrilled with it. It's my new favorite place to play. Um, and as I say, I will link the people who did it in the description box below because they have been brilliant. Um, they've done a fantastic job. It's taken a little bit longer to complete than we thought it would, but um, I think for, for the sake of having somebody do such a good job, you know, it's something that I'm happy to put up with. So um, yeah, find a little look.